Hey guys, what up? Dr. Joe here, and we are here for a new episode of Life is Strange, episode 4. So, let's get started. And actually, it's... I, the episode is not new, but I mean, it's a new installation in my playthrough. Yeah, anyway, let's go. Enjoy! Previously on Life is Strange. Whoa! You don't know who the fuck I am, or who you're messing around with! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Let's talk about your superpower. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now. It won't work. I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. Miss Caulfield, please, tell us everything. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. That's Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. Listen, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than a friend. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Max Caulfield. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. Life is Strange is a story-based game that features player choice. The consequences of all your in-game actions and decisions will impact the past, present, and future. Choose wisely. Boom, boom, boom. Here we go. The fourth episode is coming. And it takes place on a beach. The whole episode, too. This is all on a beach. <laughs> Nothing. Yeah, it's all relegated to just a beach setting. I don't know why they decided to do it that way. It was kind of... I thought it was... I personally thought it was kind of a weird decision, but... You know. I stuck with it. Also, a lot of seagulls in this episode. And bikes. And chains. And water. And light. Yep. Just everything. Don't nod entertainment. How much are they really entertaining you, though? That's the question you gotta ask. I mean, when they set everything in a beach setting... Oh, and there's also dead whales. But, you know, that's, that's the most boring part of the whole thing. Life is Strange, Episode 4. Dark Room. Oh my god. I'm so excited. <sighs> There's Chloe in a wheelchair. Uh, if you remember, at the end of episode 3, we discovered she's now in a wheelchair in this alternate timeline that we have created. Or maybe just visited, who knows? It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. It's so Max. So pretentious. New TV show. Right there. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. 
probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. Yeah, not totally. I understand. I probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much. Lol, yeah. yeah. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my You got friend. that right, sister. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Yeah, I know, I'm just amazing like that. Amazing shots. Those beached whales well, I probably so could. I kind of know how they feel. At least, I'm what? alive here with you. Dead? You know, you know how being dead feels like? You're a real well, survivor. Well, maybe you would, actually. <laughs> I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. Well, too bad. I can do that. Along with my parents. I'm gonna get a hundred people to feel sorry for you. Just to spite you. Uh... Are you okay to talk about the accident? Let's just talk about it. Up, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off in a fleeing through a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. <gasps> You're like Neo. I felt my back snap and... Maybe this is the Matrix, and this is what this is, what, this is all leading up to. The Matrix. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I'm calling it devs. I'm calling I, I, it. I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. Do you mean Rachel? You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. I didn't even know her name. You did? Remember, this everyone. Is such a different alternate timeline for kids, isn't it? After that snow, sure is. Course, it's more like the end of the world. It just might be. It might be, but I'd like to think we can still change things for the better. I'd like to think that too. For my better. But I don't meant. have much hope these days. I know things seem out of control, but as long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. I'm never Hanging afraid. Out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe, I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Max, thanks for coming out to see me. You're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Yeah, we alter time and space Maybe quite drastically. It is hella cold out here. Hella? Maybe not for the best. I hate that word, no offense. Oh. None taken. Chloe really has changed in some respects. Just some. I can still see her being overall the same, but just, you know. Just some subtle differences. Minor differences, whatever. Alright, so we're, we're basically just gonna go like 50 feet away from here. Because remember, it's all set in the beach. So. I can't. I still can't believe they managed to craft a whole story about that. You know? All those dead whales. We, we, we just looked at them so casually, though. <laughs> So this is our beach house. Yep. I'm totally still by the beach. I was totally not lying about that, I'm sorry. I mean, why am I sorry? I'm not lying, anyway. Oh, it's a pretty high-tech lair. Feels like a high-tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. How badly do they I bust them? them? I mean, how is that I'm helping? I don't... Here with them. I just think that would hurt. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, you know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive. When you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Dad, Chloe. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can Ooh. wipe my bum. 
Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, Alright, I'll get you some whiskey. You give me some water? Oh, never mind. Boo. Lame, Chloe. Lame. You need some alcoholic beverages right now. That's what you need. All right, let's take a look at some shit here. Look at this bracelet. There's the old Chloe. See, so I told you, there's still some elements of her in there. Quite a bit, I think. I should offer to put makeup on for Chloe. Not that I can, but it would be fun. Hmm. You gonna fuck up her face? Whoa. Chloe can I totally control her computer. It's so great people get this high-tech help. Yeah, only for, like... $150,000. That but. is so incredible. And she can browse cat videos on the web. Cat videos. Remember, a cat fix. It's all about the cats, Chloe man. Chloe is still a punk at heart. But she can't stage dive anymore. First cat pics, now cat it's videos. It's so cool that Chloe has made friends online. Alright, so let's look at this first. Uh, so show calendar, black attic clip. See, I told you there's still elements of Chloe in here. There's like these concerts and shit. And she, look, she even made a friend on the interwebs. Look at that. So what are you doing? Talking with you. Haha, <laughs> no shit. I'm about to binge on Quantum Leap. Oh my god, love. Scott Bakula rules. So do you. I hope we can meet soon. Not if you're in San Francisco. Hey, I have to take care of some body work. Let me get back to you while you're binging on Bakula. Hope, hope I'm pronouncing that right. You better... Hello? See... She, she ignores him. She doesn't even care. That a Chloe. I'm your only true friend. And you better remember that when we take over the world. Max, it is so cool that you're here again. I'm glad you think so. Yeah. Because I don't. This place is shithole. I hate it. Looked at the computer, right? It is so incredible. And oh, yeah. she can browse cat videos on the web. Cats! Man. Joyce and William built a whole new bathroom for Chloe. They're so great. I remember when I first read this, like, every time I would read this again, uh, I would think it said, bathroom are a gas mask optional. And I was like, wait, what? Bathroom are a gas mask optional? Whoa. And then I would just sit there puzzled, staring at that, wondering what the hell they mean exactly. And then I was like, oh, bathroom area. <laughs> The A looks slightly separated. I don't know. It was weird. Chloe's message board since the accident sure looks lonely. I didn't add much. Bad, Max. It's mostly filled up, at least. Although you got a bunch of useless uh, nails there. Pins. Whatever. Wow, great photo. It's nice my parents sent a card, at least. Blah, blah, blah. Basically, we're kissing her ass. I kissing her ass. Is. Kind of a generic card. Megan. Hmm. Very suspicious. Dear Chloe, I'm so sorry for what happened. Know that I'm here for you if you need anything. I hope you feel better and I hope to see you again. XOXO. Megan. I wasn't very available to Chloe. Real nice. Chloe, I just thought I'd drop you a quick note to let you know I'm thinking about you. I feel so lame writing shit like, I hope you are well, etc. I know your life is so different now, and I don't want that to get in the way of our friendship. Yes, I haven't been around lately, but that will change soon. I hope you are well. Love, Max. At least I sent road trip selfies to Chloe. I'm sure that made her feel great. Yeah, I don't know, there might have been some resentment there. But, you know, Chloe will get over it. It's fine. I still can't believe I put She Chloe sees the in bigger picture like us. Okay, you didn't put anyone in the chair, man. You know who put her in that chair? Uh, doctors. That's who. We gotta find the doctor who put her in that chair and kill him. Don't worry, Chloe. We'll get revenge for you. I promise. Wait, we looked at the snow dough, right? Oh, the snow dough. <sighs> I guess not everything changed. Dough! <laughs> the dough is always around. It never stops with the dough. Hello, Chloe. <laughs> she likes fluffy animals now. Well, that's a little different, I guess. 
Uh, lamp. That's a serious heat lamp. Damn. What are you trying to do? Incinerate her? Does Chloe look at the garden and think about her childhood? She can't even feel the grass now. Oh, that's gotta suck. I'm glad I took this photo. Chloe has a new memory of William and her together. Yeah. Oh. At least Chloe doesn't weigh that much. If anyone heard that, there's just some like loud car, motorcycle, or something outside. But so yeah. Uh. Oh man. She has to use that ventilator just to breathe. Ooh. So. Wow. What happens when she's on the chair? I'm guessing she has some kind of yeah. Some kind of mobile thing for that. Oh shit, what am I doing? Oh yeah, right, getting the cup of water. Instead of handing Chloe a bong, I'm feeding her water. Did I give her a choice? No, technically you didn't, but Drink you know. a buttercup. Oh man. No wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Oh, that's not so bad. Boring. I Gosh. mean, it was this just isn't... A thought. This I isn't exactly a podcast, but it's pretty fun. Yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. Oh, funny you should say that. <laughs> You're right. I wish I could take us all the way back there again. Wish I could build us a DeLorean. Oh, well, Ooh. um, y y with your scientific mind, you might do that. This, hey, this isn't I'm Back to the Future. Screw things up too. Plus, he'd have to <laughs> we know that much. Leave an assistant to help me build a machine. As you can see, I can't keep Yeah, I'll be like Watson. Back. No way, I'll be sure, like, you'd be Watson, I'm better. Nope. You have me. I'm not leaving you, Chloe. Well, you didn't visit me a lot, either. I mean, I loved your cards and photos, but... I know hey. I wasn't around much. I had important things no to do. Is. I'm a loser. But I am... Just developing a plan for it. us. How? Dude, you're not Supermax. Yes, I am. And I'm not trying to Shut up. you. That's what my friends oh, okay. are for. Okay, never mind, I apologize now. Well, it's quite obvious she's lonely. Um... Are they okay? I mean... Are they still happy together and everything? So now you're Dr. Bill? I guess they're good, considering they have to deal with me. They laugh and hold hands. And I hope they still get busy, too. I think Ooh. Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks, and the medical bills are fucking insane. How insane? Like, on a level of 1 to 10, like, uh, insanity level, like, how insane are they? Are they just, like, threatening to, like, kill you if you drop a pin on the ground or something? I bet. This tech must be crazy expensive. Along with the drugs, the nurses, the supplies. Mom and Dad are always broke, and they get so frustrated. Is it worth it? Yes. Chloe, you're priceless. Uh, <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. Always good. That's why I love you. Of always course, good to have I humor mixed in. I one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. Yeah, you'd be a geek. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> what do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, in a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry. At Fortunately, I haven't seen that yet. Plus, you know, I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. So I'm not going to get these references. You look incredible with blue hair. <laughs> well, I got that at least. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. I swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. I've never really had that with anyone, like, people falling asleep in the middle of things. 
Okay, maybe a little bit, yeah. Never mind. It is kind of annoying. Um... Because then you just feel like you may as well just go home or something if you're the only one so watching. So here's the DVD player. Now I just need to find the DVD. It's in here. Aha, I was right. Here's the DVD. Okay, but let's, like, let's explore more. Oh my god. I made that mix for her when we were 12. Pirate power. Well, we're going to be kind of like pirates. I mean, we're going to, like, you know, take over the world. Steal everyone's money, I guess. I don't know. Wow, sir. Chloe was a straight A student. Ah, boo. She could have gone to any college. Boo. Bad Chloe. That's not good. You gotta be more destructive. Huh. And also not nearly as tardy or absent. Gutless bastard. I am so glad Chloe stole your bullshit fund. Even if it wasn't another reality. <sighs> Should we check out this shit? Oh god. Okay, basically he's saying that they can't accommodate for Chloe's disability. If you don't want to read it. Or can't accommodate for Chloe's disability. And... Um... Yeah, the school can't accommodate for it, so... But they recommend other places that she can check out that are good for it, I guess. And, yeah, I don't know. That's that. Despite everything, they're still a happy family again. Mm, yeah, I it's guess cool so. That in this reality, Chloe really loves skating, too. Jesus, why is he wearing the fucking... <laughs> Damn, do we have bipedal horses here? Or half horse, half man? Jesus. I really did change time quite a bit. Uh, what am I doing again? Oh, right. Uh, is there something else? Right, here we go. Nothing but medical supplies. She has yeah, to who use needs a those? Lot of lotion to keep her blood circulating. Ooh, I hate lotion. I always hate having to put it on whenever stuff. Thanks. I uh, think you missed a grain stuck in my eyeball. <laughs> Hard to believe how just a little sand can cause such a big mess. It's like that Chinese proverb. A spark can start a fire that burns the entire prairie. You know, like butterfly thing. <laughs> so I've heard. Damn, those Chinese. All right. Um, is there anything else here? I don't know. Uh, do, 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 do. Bob Brave. Be, 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 oh, be Brave. Okay. <laughs> uh, anyway. Oh, I never looked at this. That must be her mighty morphine machine. <gasps> morphine. No more bongs for her. Ah. Well, at least she's getting some morphine. It's also a pretty addictive drug. I like how it just like starts right away. Like we just put it in, and all of a sudden, just like, just immediately, it's like the movie starts. It's like no loading or anything, and how it how it would normally go. No main menu apparently. Nothing, just it just starts. That's that's not a typical DVD, my experience. Make a wish. Faith. Baby angels. That's new, I guess. Don't know how much they're gonna do, though. Uh, random faces. Oh, look who actually fell asleep this time! Ha ha! Max, you hippo. You dirty, dirty hippo. I cannot believe you fell asleep so fast. You fell asleep. You. The fuck? I know you were beat down after the day with me. And Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Is it? Mm. Do, you, do you think Deckard is a replicant? 
That's probably an ongoing debate on the internet that I'm not aware of. <laughs> no, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. See, now you admit it. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. Dumb Before bitch. Morning, it's the company I keep. Yeah, we're all bitches. Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates jumping and running through the forests again. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. Chloe, no offense, but that sounds really gay. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's, uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Okay, um, okay, relax. My parents keep this wag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Well, you can't, right? Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. Unless you're lying about this whole thing. This whole wheelchair thing, this whole wheelchair thing is just a manipulation tactic you've used. You've even fooled your own parents. Chloe. I'm impressed. So, are you sure it isn't too weird for you to be hanging out with me like this? No way. I don't want you to feel weird. My life is just so different than yours. I mean, you can't just bounce out of here and... I'll be doped up half the day in pain. I don't normally bounce, That's but... Cool. But I do feel grateful I can see the ocean. That I have parents who love me. And that my best friend is here with me today. Exactly. So, what else do you need? You mean aside oh, from the morphine? Hot monkey sex would be nice. Ooh. <laughs> oh, look. I made Maxine blush. So, are you dating anyone at Blackwell? Not really. No. There are some cute boys there, but you know me. I'm too damn shy. Which is stupid, because you're so damn cool. Some bro has to be crushing on you. I was supposed to go out with this guy named Warren, but... I don't think he's in... Different timeline. Different timeline. <laughs> you need to move on, girl. Plenty of fish in the bay. <laughs> Shit. I sound like my dad. Sound like your dad. That's okay if you sound like William. He really cares about you. Rub it in. I can't ever get mad at the fool. He does so much for me. I haven't done Jack for him. You have. You're here with your family. More like they're here for me. But then so are you. So it's all good. Yay, we're all just one happy, cohesive unit. Fuck that shit. We're taking over. I'm blowing everything up. Fuck everyone.